and from Annalise's Creations. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I'm here to show you how I am going to paint this canvas bag. It is called an Outrigger canvas bag. I'll tell you the exact name. It's a 15-inch canvas riggers bag by Voyager, which you can find online at harborfreight.com, or you can find it on Amazon. I actually got mine on Amazon because at the time I didn't realize that Harbor Freight also sells online. Because when I went to Harbor Freight, they did not have a, they did not have it in the store. So I ended up having to get it, um, yeah, online. And I didn't realize that they sold things online until later on when I went to search it. Anyhow, it's a really roomy bag, as you can see me showing you here. I did not re uh, record audio on this, so I I apologize. So that is why I am narrating this video. So it is a really sturdy bag. It comes flat, and of course, you know, it'll become unfolded once you add things to the bag. And there's lots of pockets, really great for a travel art bag or for even a travel bag, like um, if you had other things you wanted to put in it. I'm going to be using Deco Art's So Soft Fabric Paints for this, as well as I'm using Lumiere Paints, and I'll be using some other inks and paints and things, as well as the Puff Paint. So enjoy my process throughout this video. It was, it took me several hours to finish this because I had to wait for each layer to, to kind of dry. And initially I am going to start out using some gesso. But first I'm showing you the, the different puff paints I have. I've had some that for a long time and others I found actually at Ross. They had a huge package at Ross one day and so I had to pick it up. But as I said, the first thing I'm going to be doing is adding some gesso, a layer of gesso, because this is canvas. And like canvas that you paint on, it's pretty much the same material only stretched out onto, you know, wood. And then most of the time when you buy your canvases, it ha it's already pre-gessoed. So this is what canvas would look like without being gessoed. So I am adding a layer of gesso so that the paint will stick easier to, as well as I know it's fabric paint and it's bright and all. Fabric paint will soak into your material at to an extent, and I didn't want it to soak in a lot. I didn't want to use up all of my paints, so I am going to be using a thick layer of paint, and I had to let it dry for a while before I could come back in and paint on it. So you will see me adding the paint and enjoy my process as I will be speeding through a lot of this because it was several hours worth of video tape that I took of this and it was, yeah, it was a long video. So I apologize for that and enjoy the process. Toodles. Bye. So what I'm going to do is I have decided that I'm going to go ahead and do the square pieces first, the backgrounds for those, and then I'm going to add layers and so on. Okay, so enjoy my process.
I'll be back in a while. All right, so I'm back for day two, and I, I have to apologize ahead of time. It is Friday here at the time of this recording, and you will see this probably on a Tuesday. So I hope that you are having a wonderful day. If you're hearing some noise outside, it's Fridays. My husband's home on Fridays. He works from home, and he's every other day. Friday he has off, and yeah, so I have to deal with the noises he makes, and right now he's doing something out in the side yard, and of course it's going to make noise. My microphone's going to pick it up, because it's a pretty sensitive microphone. So I am have to apologize. So I'm here to continue with the canvas, this um, canvas bag. It's going to be my travel art bag when I go out, go traveling and so I want to get this done today hopefully so enjoy my process as I continue with it so here we go
right, so as I'm winding down doing this travel art bag, I just wanted to make sure and let you know that I was inspired by Gina Aaron's travel, she did a travel art bag video over a year ago, and I'll try to find the video for you and post the link down below. Also, I've been to Pinterest, and there's been other artists that have done a similar artist traveling bag. So just to, you know, make you aware that I'm not the only one out there that's done it. I always like to give credit where credit's due. So I hope you enjoyed this. And as I'm winding down, adding the pink, the last finishing touches on this side, um, I'm not going to show you the other side as far as the process, but I will show you pictures at the end of this video. So thanks for watching again, and don't forget to Give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share, and comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Toodles.